It is the story we brought you last month. A stray dog dropped off at the Cambria County Humane Society with injuries to its hind legs and a wheelchair donated to help her get around. The Humane Society trying to find her a new home. And as Maria Miller found out, it didn't take long. She's here with that. It's new at six. Maria? And Marty, believe it or not, the family who adopted her tells me they didn't see her story here on Six News. In fact, they say at first they didn't even know she had a disability. This was Hope a few weeks ago. A one-year-old Husky mix dropped off at the Cambria County Humane Society as a stray with severe injuries to her back legs. Here she is today in a new home with a new family and a new name. I looked at all the dogs and there was just something about her. I can't explain it. It just drew, drew me in. Gina Kaufman tells us she didn't see the story on the news. She just happened to stop by the Humane Society to visit like she often does when she immediately locked eyes with now Shelby. She says she didn't even notice her disability. I just fell in love with her and didn't care what was wrong with her. And that was the third dog to the family. <laughs> Shelby still can't use her right back leg as it has severe nerve damage believed to have gotten wrapped around a cable. But it doesn't hold her back. In fact, she doesn't even use her wheelchair. She gets around fine. Like the second day she got up the steps, she gets around like all the other dogs. And oh, she, and she likes to play with them. Looking past disabilities isn't new for Kaufman, as one of her twin boys has a disability himself. She says Shelby has been the perfect fit and has even helped him with his ADHD. It, it's hard, so, you know, I can't give a kid back, and I never would, obviously. So we just, she's family, and the two of them get along great, and he's calmed down a lot since. <laughs> Now you'll notice throughout our interview, Shelby was barking quite a bit in the background. That's because she didn't like our photographer, Eric. Kaufman believes that Shelby was abused pretty often by a former male owner. But overall, she says Shelby is fitting in just fine and is the perfect addition to their family. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News. Maria, we're not surprised that dog was barking at Eric.